So I've uh, been borrowing my brother's trailer and uh, the lights all pretty much stopped working. All I pretty much had was one indicator and one uh, parker light. So went over to Bunnings, uh, Bunnings, uh, went over to Super Cheap Auto and picked up this here, which is a amber red tail light thingy. But when I got it home, I discovered that basically it's a it's a three wire device. You've got the white one for return, you've got yellow for your indicator, and you've got red for your tail or parkers, whichever you design it for. But anyway. So I put it all in, had the tail lights working, but I needed to get the indicators working. So what I've ended up doing is retro... Oh, I ended up installing, just put this down here. I ended up making a mod to the plug side of things. So that what you end up having is this little arrangement here. So basically what we've got You've got um, you've got your tail lights or parkers running through this wire here. Runs through a diode uh, to prevent backfeed, and just a couple of um, a couple of resistors there to drop the power to the LEDs a bit, to drop the brightness. And then for the stop lights, you've also got another diode here. The idea behind the diodes is that if you hit stop, it doesn't backfeed your parkers and vice versa, so you get both. And the resistors give you basically the... If you put your parkers on, it'll come on a certain brightness, and if you hit the brakes, it'll come on full brightness. But basically, it's just a bit of a cheat to be able to run both at the same time. I mean, it's pretty simple to do. Now you could do this with bulbs as well, but you'd have to increase um, the resistors from these quarter watts to at least one, uh, one or five watt resistors. You'd also have to increase the diodes up to yeah, f higher amperage ones. But well, these are just single one amp things. But they're running at the most of um, three, six, six LEDs at the most on one of them, which is nothing for these diodes. So pretty much by doing it that way it's a bit of a oh, you'd call it a hack I guess but a bit of a bypass to lay it just to continue using um, two stage lights with a three stage setup is that when you're doing that the light that lights up the number plate needs to be changed over to LED just to make it work properly but yeah all good